All right, all right, Bitcoiners, uh, crypto people, crypto miners. We've had an interesting, interesting couple of days with Bitcoin dropping and everything else dropping with it, mainly with the geopolitical bull crap. People just want to blow each other up. It's just the same old shit throughout history. Uh, getting sick of it. So I know why people just can't get along. What's the big deal? If you don't like someone, just go the other way, man. Anyway, here we are watching a nice sunset. You guys can figure out where I am. Look at that. We'll watch the sunset. It's going to go any second. But anyway, yeah, I think um, everything's going to be okay. I think April is typically throughout history with the stocks, equities, everything has typically been the worst performing month. Uh, it's just the same as before, same as last year. It goes down. People are uh, s selling stocks, you know, trying to find funds to pay their tax uh, tax liability, stuff like that, just shuffling their books around. And uh, just so the government can take your money and send it overseas to pay another country's uh, pensions. Yeah, look that up. You know, it'll, it'll kind of upset you a little bit. Anyway, what I'm doing, I kind of did a great trade on FCX before all this happened. Uh, I think last Friday I set it uh, 52. It's a copper mining company, FCX, and I set a sell at 52. Thinking, eh, that might not, it might hit it, it might not. And again, I'm glad I did that because now it's at 48, and it did spike up. I did get a sell in, made like 18%, and that's uh, how you get the doubles, guys. Instead of waiting for the home run to make it, you know, go up to a say 100 per share, which is foolish, it went up a few bucks per share, and I got a nice percentage return in a matter of probably a week and a half. So that's a double there. But having said that, I'm still holding Tesla, which I'm down 40%. So <laughs> I haven't sold it, so I haven't realized the loss. I still kind of believe in Tesla, even though the other um, companies have gone into the game a couple years ago since Ford, all these companies, GM, and destroyed the reputation of electric cars. They made such crappy products that catch on fire, uh, blow up when they hit something, or just horrible products. And then that basically makes Tesla guilty by association. Still a good product. I had one, and uh, I thought it was an interesting car. It was kind of vanilla inside, like driving a rice cake, but it had performance. I still like an internal combustion engine or a truck. So it's just all what you want. Yeah, what else is going on? Uh, FCX did good. That was a good trade. Tesla's a bad. Not having traded yet, so I'm not going to realize that loss because that's in my three, uh, my third bucket, which means I don't plan to touch that money, which is a Roth account. So all my trades right now where I'm at are tax-free because um, they're not taxable events. The money's already been paid tax and all gains are f free and clear. Uh, IRA as well, but with IRAs, you have an RMD require minimal distribution if you are lucky enough or unlucky enough to make it to the age of 72 or 75 you have to start taking those rmds and you'll be taxed on them as income so they'll get you they'll get you sooner or later but the roth you're free and clear unless they change the rules and there goes the sun so what else am i watching uh having's coming up bitcoin having is coming up after that you want to look watch wolf wulf which is a minor only a few miners will survive after the halving because it's going to, uh, you have to run clean. You have to run optimal, high performance, low cost, just optimum solution. And uh, Wolf seems to be one of the better ones, smaller ones, and maybe, maybe, maybe one of the few that survive. So just keep watching that. It's not about 190 right now. It's WULF. It's a penny stock because it's under five bucks. But uh, I have not bought it yet. Full disclosure, I'm just watching it. WLF. So, again, do your discretion on that one. But I would wait to the having, And you're going to see some of the miners can't afford to stay in business after the rewards are cut. Because uh, they're running too, um, too much overhead, too much cost. And they're not going to be able to sustain and keep the doors open. So only a few will be left standing. And Wolf may be one of them. That's just what I've heard on the street. Oh, what else is out there? Some of the energy producers, ET, yes, just like the little space guy, and EPD, Echo Paul David, mostly uh, commodity, energy, oil-centric type stuff, may have some spike. I think we're going to probably see a spike up till August. The market may run for a little bit. 
again after this little baby correction because they got to elevate the economy for the election you know for whoever whatever regime they want to let in uh after the election i think everything's going to fall like a house of cards and uh yeah it may be by design because then in chaos and ca catastrophe the regimes whoever's in charge can do what they want like obama used to say in his southern accent never let a good crisis go to waste that was his chief of state guy the little ram emmanuel the guy's kind of creepy You're like you wonder where these guys come from but uh yeah they love they love uh, catastrophes because then they can put in stuff like the patriot act and stuff like that because you're going to want to lose your rights and privacies so yeah that stuff's coming so prepare for that but i think we can ride this up a little bit and uh make a short-term amount of money but i just would say get the cash get the cash i'm not sure what bitcoin will do i'm sure it's going to pull back immensely as well but uh why not take some some opportunity to get some money in the near future and then just watch it because look how it just kind of boom bottomed out the past two days it seems like the cycle is off a little bit but they're going to prop it back up there'll be a uh, bounce back and then you can probably take advantage of this again short trades bitcoin i'm kind of in for the long haul until it does go to a certain price i want to get to a certain amount of bitcoin i am cpu mining as well but that's pennies a day probably what four bucks a day if that is ridiculous but it is what it is four bucks is better than zero bucks uh i was running on zerg pull for a little bit and that was a big turd something's going on i was trying to do varus hash uh sugar cpu and it's just something's wrong with the mining pool over there uh they weren't getting any blocks to mine and i just stuck with ghost rider was getting some there i just went back to nice hash nice nice hash for the win folks in all my time doing this now just go to nice hash it's consistent set and forget and do not fret over the pennies uh, I think the other pools charge a lot in converting the mine coin to the payout coin as well. Whereas I think Zer um, Nice Hash does the same, but not as bad as um, uh, what was the oh god, I just forgot what not what to mine. Oh, I forgot the, the minor stuff you put on your thing and helps you mine. Ah, it's, I always forget it because it's I just stop using them because they were such high fees. Uh, oh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm going to hopefully buy back in tomorrow, buy some more, or maybe Thursday. Again, what I do is I have my bank account sheltered from Coinbase and Kraken. I have a little account with minimal money in it that I use to um, connect to the exchanges. Why is that? Because they want you to use Plaid to connect your account to like Kraken and Coinbase. I don't like that because Plaid is a third party. They've been hacked a few times, cyber attacks, and they sell your information as well. So I don't want them to have all that stuff and someone going and empty my bank account. If they get into that account, there's like 10 bucks. Woo! You know what I mean? And so I basically hop, hop, hop. I do two hops to move money into the account where I can feed the exchanges. So secure, pay, secure, pay, security, right? Just as best as I could, right? Nothing's foolproof. Uh, and but the only problem with that it takes with the freaking ACH five days to move your money it's just a joke that's why crypto is so nice boom you just send it to the address and you get it within a few hours you know that's what they're afraid of uh, I don't know so that's where I'm at now kind of just going to keep buying some more Bitcoin uh, maybe do some trades on some equities commodity based stuff like the copper FCX and uh, ET and I'm watching the wolf one W U L F for um uh one of my bitcoin miners and that's going to be after the having maybe jump in and get a couple of that just for grins because it's getting buck 90 right now it was a 250 but it's just been going down oh we're at nine minutes on this video so where am i folks look at this we got the nice water we got the nice palm trees a lot of traffic but again nothing like most horrible cities this is pretty nice where i'm at what's that out there oh boat coming back in there goes the sun, about almost 7.50. Yeah, anyway, that's where I'm at. Let me know what you guys are doing. Just a stupid little video of what I'm up to. Uh, I found it's easier just to describe what I've been doing. And full disclosure, I do not want anyone to listen to anyone on YouTube. Uh, you don't know if people are scamming you, if they're trying to sell you courses, or just for crap. I am not monetized on this channel. YouTube makes money off my content. They steal from me because they have not monetized me. 
Uh, I have a member thing if you want to become members and get little nuggets of information. Oh, here's a pro tip. I'm going to keep repeating it to help people. Go If you're trading on Coinbase, you want to save them a lot in transaction fees when you're buying crypto. Go into their Coinbase advanced mode and trade through the, the trading view pane where you can set your limits or market orders and that. You will save a lot of money. The uh, cost per transaction on purchasing is, oh my God, I think it's it's only like, uh, let's say you're spending four, like 30% of what you pay on the main idiot proof page, on the main page. Little golf cart. It's the tires, man. Tires is what makes the noise mostly, except for these crappy cars with these horrible pipes on them. But it's mostly tires, which you hear the road noise. It's just annoying. Anyway, that was my pro tip. Go to Coinbase Pro Advanced and uh, you'll save a lot of money. I did a comparison between that and Kraken. Uh, on the main page, they're both the same on the default idiot proof page. But if you go to the advanced page on Coinbase, it's a lot, lot less in fees and that adds up. So $100 will buy $99 of Bitcoin. Whereas if you do the basic pages on Kraken and Coinbase, uh, $100 will buy you maybe $96 of Bitcoin. Yeah, there you go. That's a small example, but it's true. I proved it. It might have changed, but that's just the way it is. Oh my God, what else? What else? Oh, the other pro tip was shield your bank account from any links, uh, direct links to an exchange. Have like a little proxy bank account, if you will, uh, where you just put the minimum in, like 10 bucks to keep it open, and then you route your money through there. Again, the, pro the con is, the con there is it takes time to shuffle money around because the ACH is such an antiquated way to move money. It's redonkulous, but you just plan accordingly. In a way, in a way that helps you uh, dollar cost average as well, so you're not always buying at the highs like me. <laughs> so now when this money I transferred gets uh, into that little proxy account, tomorrow I'll probably buy the Bitcoin. Hopefully it stays below 64 and buy some more. There goes noisy car. Why do you need it? I had a noisy car once and a bike. I hated it. I regret it. I'm sorry to all these people. I annoyed. <laughs> all right, that is it. 12 minutes in. Go forth. Let's all. Watch this market, try to make some money out of this in the short term. But again, it's election year. Just be ready. Q4 of this year is going to be horrible. And hopefully you're all in cash by then. All right. Again, not financial advice. Do your own research. Doubt but verify. Do not listen to any fool on YouTube. And anyone, no matter how many subs they have or how many viewers. And a trick, too, is if someone has a million subs, look at the views on the videos. Most get 1,000 views. For a million subs, they get a thousand views. Something's not right. So there's there's something that raises a red flag as well. Plus, YouTube might be playing with the numbers as well to uh, help give credit to other channels that they are they believe in and stuff like that. I just again be skeptical about everything, and you might come away all right. All right, I'm out.